a world tight end. The six foot seven three. You can call me the go. Rob Gronkowski. Touchdown! Oh my goodness. Go, go, go. Holy Gronk of all the greatest of all time. Go, they call me go. Okay, America came out as a winner last night after the third quarter because FanDuel customers get $10 million in bonus bets because. Mr. Four-time Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski, who is joining us right now, uh, attempted a field goal, apparently didn't make it, but we're going to get to all of this. Gronk, I appreciate you so much for joining the show this morning. Let's start here. Did you really kick it, or was it fake? No, I really kicked it. The commercial was 100% live. There might have been, you know, that little TV delay, which was five seconds or so. That's the only, you know, possibility of not a true live update, but it was definitely live. I had one attempt. Uh, it was a 30 second spot. And uh, let me tell you, it was one of the coolest creators of, of all time. I just want to thank FanDuel for everything that they've done. Uh, what a partnership it's been with them so far. Uh, you know, FanDuel, all the creative team. Uh, I love doing these type of activities. I love learning. Uh, I love being able to pick up a new skill and uh, throughout this whole process over the last month or so I was able to pick up a, a new skill and that's kicking now. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. not, you know, I'm not a pro, but I picked it up where, you know, I'm good enough now to when I, I could probably just pick up a football and just kick it through the uprights uh, when I, with a 80% chance every single time uh, whenever I pick up the football yeah. and, and put it down to kick it. But it was truly live. It was it was truly live. I had one attempt and one attempt only. I think people thought it might be at the stadium, which you clarified. I did the press conference with you. You guys, they, we built a set near the stadium on the outskirts because, of course, you couldn't be there for, during the Super Bowl doing that. And then the production quality was so epic and so good. It looked like a movie was being shot. So some people think that it wasn't live, which is hilarious to me. Darius Butler's like, is it CGI'd? What happened? That's not the case. So then I ask you because I know and I appreciate how invested you were, Gronk. You were all in on this. So I think I speak on behalf of everybody at FanDuel for thanking you for your buy-in. What went wrong? What happened? I got to tell you, I thought you kicked it through. Every big wig I was in the FanDuel suite with, we all are celebrating watching this commercial live. And then I saw this angle. Take me through this other angle. I don't know the fan. I, can we have that? Can we re -rack that? Take me through yes. what happened, Gronk. All right. So I actually was very confident. I actually was not nervous at all. I was five for five on rehearsal day uh, because we, we had to do so okay. many rehearsals because we need the timing to be exact because we only had a 30 second spot and you, there was no room for air. So I was five for five, five on the rehearsal day. I felt great warming up. I was really loose when it came to the third quarter. I've already made a couple field goals beforehand because yes, it's a live commercial. So I had a lot of practice runs before though. So. Uh, to keep me loose and keep me feeling right. good. So I was not nervous one single bit. I, one single bit. I felt like I had it for sure. And let me tell you, when I kicked that, when I had that kick, when it was live, the kick that I missed, it felt like the best kick over the past two months I've been practicing. I, right when I hit Gosh. it, right when I booted it, I knew I booted that and I knew it was my best kick. And I felt the confidence that it was going through no matter what. And then I, I looked up and it was soaring. And then all of a sudden, I swear, a wind gust just came up there. Mother Nature was like, no, 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 Gronk. <laughs> You're not scoring again in the Super Bowl. All right, you, you have too many touchdowns in the Super Bowl. Let people catch up to you. Let people catch up in points with you. You don't even, you don't need field goal points too. So Mother Nature, just sent this powerful win when the ball was about to go right through the uprights, right down the middle. You could even watch it. It's going directly through, and all of a sudden the wind, whoop. Yeah. Just swooped the football, and well, it, it went looks wide like, left yeah. the tiniest bit. This looks like you hit it. This looks like you hit it, and then if you look at the other angle, you see it's you drilled it. It looks perfect, and then it is, it is as if Christopher Lloyd in the Disney movie, Angels in the Outfield, came and scooped the ball up and said, not today, Gronk. Yes, exactly what, what happened. 
it was literally going directly down the middle. And then from whatever camera view you were watching, you couldn't really tell. It looked like a make on TV. Yeah. So people were all confused, like, wait, I thought it went through, because it sure did look like it went through from many angles. But that angle that you just showed me, the side angle with the camera on my yes, right see it. facing the field goal, you can actually see it that it did go wide left. Uh, it was definitely, you know, a tough situation. You know, I had to just, I guess, you know, I never knew the wind plays that big of a factor. It was probably about a 30 mile per hour wind gust. I mean, I knew the wind played a factor, right. but not that big of a factor. Like I literally aimed it at the right go post as well. So it was tough, but what's so great about it is that so many people put a bet on the Super Bowl. So many people were interested in, in the kick of destiny. That fam yes. duel gave away $17 million in free bets on top of, you know, including the $10 million, you know, in free oh, bets with the kick that. of destiny. Yeah, so that is what is really cool about the whole situation. So just thank you yeah. uh, to everyone for putting it together and giving me this amazing opportunity. And uh, you know something, Kay? I'm going to have to make up for it because I kept saying I'm going to make it for America. FanDuel backed me up, though. Let's Thank go. you to FanDuel backing me up and, and still giving out the $10 million in, in bonus bets, but on top of it, another $7 million as well. So that's very, very cool. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to have to have a redemption one day. I'm going to have to do something. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but I'm going to have to do another something of destiny where I can do it and, and yes. accomplish something for America. i got to make up for it, and I'm going to, but we'll see down the future what it's going to be. Yeah, I, I asked how you were at, and I heard about the wind. Like, the wind started picking up legitimately around 4 p.m., and there was a buzz about it. How is this going to go with the wind? And you're not a, you know, like, you, this is your first couple months training for something like this. But I did hear that you stayed after. You didn't run to watch the Super Bowl. Or you, you stayed after and took pictures with everyone who was out there in the desert and the whole crew. And I just I think that was so cool to hear that you stayed until every last picture was taken to sort of wrap up this beautiful moment. So you are, you are a, a gentleman and a four-time Super Bowl champ who wants a chance at redemption. Quickly, when you're watching Harrison Butker, and he misses his first one, and then he lines up, and that was a 27-yarder, yours was a 25. What were you thinking and what was your new appreciation for him? No, I, I have some serious appreciation for kickers. I always have, but it's definitely taken, taken it to a whole nother level. I was talking to Adam Vinatieri yesterday, uh, once again, and just telling him just how amazing of a job he did throughout his whole career and how much respect I have for him and kickers. And um, then just watching that game, seeing that he had that 27-yarder, I mean, I knew he was going to make it. You know, they're inside a dome, so there's no wind. Uh, that would have been the same case uh, with myself. I would have made yeah. that 27-yard kick in the Super Bowl game as well in a dome. I can tell you that, even though I missed my 25-yarder. Yeah with no one else on the field and no pressure. You but, got uh, it. With, I knew Bucker You're was gonna gonna get it next that. time. Yes, I knew he was gonna hit that. It's it's a chip shot for those for those guys. They have so much repetition in the book. So just congratulations to yeah. him for hitting the game winning field goal and congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs for winning the Super Bowl. And yeah, so let's get to let's get this quickly. Your your guy Tom is the GOAT. Mahomes wins his second one, two time Super Bowl MVP. Can Patrick give Brady a run for his money? Yeah, he definitely can give uh, Brady a run for his money. I mean, he's young. He has two Super Bowl wins now. I mean, he's been, yes, he, uh, he's been uh, to Super Bowl three times over the last six years. But in order to get to that level, I mean, you're going to have to be consistent for the next 15 years. So that's not, you know, it's, it's a debate, but it's not up to us. It's just all up to, you know, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, he just got to keep performing for the next 15 years. So... That's definitely a, I'll that's say definitely this. a duty say right there. Brady so we'll beat see. Mahomes. Brady beat what, Mahomes. What do you yeah, what do you mean? What's the question? We gotta go, Gronk. I can't hear you. Brady beat Mahomes. We love you. Yeah, Kick of destiny.